Connor, thank you for joining me. Let's start with Hartlepool. A huge win on the road and a very important three points. Yeah, massive. Um, obviously, we spoke about the threats they bring on the Friday, so in the interview, um, obviously, Kevin Phillips done a brilliant job since he's, since he's gone in. We spoke to him after. It's the um, first game they've lost at home since he's gone in, so to get a result there is massive. Obviously, we did tag it after the Chesterfield game. We obviously wanted to bounce back. It's, I think it's important that if we do drop points in any game, we've got to try to bounce back as quickly as we can. So we have, to, obviously, the chase and pack, so it's important to keep that that buffer as best we can. Obviously, Bromley went and got a result, but other results went for us. So it's a really positive um, day for us and the people performance warranted the three points as well. We saw the return to the squad of Nicky Cabamba and Jordan McGuire Drew, both who came on in the second half. How did you feel they performed and how are they feeling after their first match minutes in a few weeks? Yeah, they were brilliant. Um, it's a massive, massive bonus for us to have them back. And you can see the lift it gives the other lads as well. I spoke on it the other day, the, the, when they feel there's reinforcement coming, it gives everyone a boost. And I think that was apparent on Saturday. Uh, they both come on and made a massive difference for us. Uh, Jordan was looking up the score and obviously that come from Nicky running behind as well. So they had an, inf uh, an influence on the game, which is important. And thankfully, as you touched on, they feel positive afterwards. They don't have any reactions. So we're moving forward then. We're obviously building them up to more and more minutes. And obviously, soon enough to be back in the starting team helping us. So it's a massive bonus for us. We got that all-important first goal, courtesy of Gatlin Odonka. He's a real threat up front and gives us a very different attacking option alongside Nicky and Cameron. Yeah, we, listen, we... Um, we identified him a long time ago in pre-season when we played them. Um, so there's been no, been no surprise that we've been obviously looking for that kind of pace and power up top and we felt he was the one and thankfully it managed to materialise further down the line. Obviously, as I said, it's been six, seven months now we've been monitoring him, so he's a big bonus for us. And you can see with the goal, he makes a brilliant run, pulls on the shoulder and it's an excellent finish. So we know what he brings us. Obviously, Nicky has been an absolute stalwart for us and we're obviously happy with his contract, but to have that different threat in terms of pace and power in mind, obviously to complement what Nicky does, and obviously what Steady brings as well is an excellent bonus for us. We have to mention Anthony Hartigan's free kick. When he scores, they really are classy goals. Yeah, listen, he's been outstanding for us all season. I think he's played pretty much most minutes since he's come in and he keeps us ticking the midfield. But to add goals to his game, obviously, is something that we've challenged him with. Um, he scored a few free kicks now. I think that's the third, third or fourth free kick, whatever it is. I think it's third, maybe. Um, it's an excellent goal. He's saying he meant it. Obviously, we will listen to him. He's an honest lad, so he's saying he meant it. So it's an outstanding goal for us, and it's a, it's a brilliant bit of quality from him. And just finally on Hartlepool, we have to talk about Ben Winter. Dean was full of praise for him in his post match interview. A classy player for so many different reasons. Out of the starting 11 for a while, but able to come in and perform to the highest levels. Yes, he's, a, he's a brilliant person, first and foremost. I think it's a what he's done is a testament to himself and his character because often you find people out of the team for long periods they can kind of go under or not train as hard as what they probably should but testament to Winston's character he's kept fit and he's worked hard throughout the whole spell of not playing and obviously when he's got his chance he's taken it to be fair I thought he was excellent probably our best player on the day and it's a, as I said brilliant testament to his character for how he kept himself ready and ready to go when he got that chance he was able to take it listen we know he's a brilliant player he was outstanding for us last year and he played really well earlier on in the season um, but obviously things change within seasons, people play, people don't play, that's how football goes. But fair play to him, he's kept himself ready and fit and he's come in and been brilliant for us. On to Rochdale, another tough opponent. They're coming off the back of a 2-1 loss to Ebbsfleet and will definitely be looking to bounce back. Yeah, definitely. They're, listen, they're an excellent side. Um, obviously the real result on Saturday they'd be, they'd be a little bit disappointed with, but I felt they were good in the game. They had a lot of good spells and conceded late on, obviously to lose the game is probably disappointing from their point of view. But we know the challenge they bring a real technical team and they're, they're a good side. Really good side. They're sitting mid-table, not on the best of form and missing some of their key players. How important is it not to take any of that for granted? As you just said, they're an excellent side. We've watched a lot of them. Uh, myself, Gaffer, Kirk, uh, obviously prepping them for this game. They're, to be honest, I know obviously if you look at the just the results, it doesn't look great for their form, but if you actually watch the performances, I think they've been very unlucky not to pick up a lot more points. They've um, Against Wilson, obviously I know they won, they were excellent on the day. And that again, in a lot of the games they've lost or drew, they deserve to win. Got picked up a brilliant point against Chesterfield, being two goals down, so show they've got a lot of fight in the team. But brilliant side, technical team, like to play, like to have possession. Um, the manager's doing a brilliant job, and I feel, as I said, if you actually watch the performances, they should be a lot better off than what they are points-wise. They've been a little bit unfortunate in games, and we know it's not going to be easy game. They're a good, really good side. We touched on our injured players the other day and still have a few more to come back into the mix. Are we still looking to bolster the squad at all with any new signings? given the busyness of the league and potential FA Trophy games still to come? We're always looking. We always keep our, our list active, so it never changes. The lists are always evolving. And if, if one of our targets comes available, of course, we'll always try to do something. Um, I think that's the case. You can't rush to make a bad decision and just bring someone in for the sake of it. We'll obviously identify our targets, and if any of them become available or realistic, then obviously that's something we'll probably 
uh, look further down the line with. But as of now, we're happy with the group, and um, we've got lads coming back as well. So, but we're always we're always looking at evolving. So if anything happens, obviously it's got to be the right one for us. A chilly but dry evening forecast for tomorrow night. How important is it for the lads to have the B Army turn out and back them in their numbers? Massive. We always talk about it within the change room, obviously in interviews whenever we mention how important they are for the lads. They get an extra percent or two percent of every player and it helps us massively. And um, especially later in games, if it's tight, they can get you over the line, they can get you a goal with that enthusiasm and obviously voice. So we always want to see as big a crowd as we can and be in great voice for us because it spurs the lads on and makes us a better team. Come on. Thank you, Tom. Cheers, Dan. Thank you.